Harsh Jane's mom, Kirti Jane. It's nice to have you here. Thank you for being with us. And she is here to talk about her role in Harsh's life and how the lessons that she learned in life helped her shape who, who he became as a person. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> It's not that simple question, but still I'll try and summarize it in a few sentences. Um, when Harsh was my second born, a little bit about myself. Harsh is my second child. First child is four years older than Harsh. Her name is Trisha. And we become parents only once. First time when we become parents, we are learning as we are being parents. So I learned a lot from Trisha, and hopefully that helped Harsh. At least I like to believe that. Um, I tried to overparent Trisha. I tried to live my dreams through Trisha. And I tried to do everything that I couldn't do through Trisha. By the time Harsh came around, I realized that Harsh and Trisha, they were human beings and they were individuals of their own. It's not fair for me to do that. And I think that helped me to step back a little bit and not to overparent and not to be a typical helicopter parent that I was trying to be with Trisha. So how would you say that um, when you saw Harsh growing up and you saw him excelling in math, how did you try to encourage him to pursue his dream? So this is, again, I learned that if he's good at math, I shouldn't try and turn him into something that I wanted him to be, like I wanted him to be a doctor or something that clearly all parents have a dream of. Yes, I learned that these kids, we should nurture what they're good at. And um, he shown through all the local competitions, he topped all the um, standardized tests and he did very well. So I realized that this is what he's good at and this is how he succeeded. So how would you say as a parent, you emotionally supported him? Like when he was experiencing the transition between middle school and high school, or he was applying to college, or even if he had struggles within his social circles, like. Having such a smart kid, how did you emotionally support him through that? It's not always been that easy and smooth, but typically as a parent you try to over advise and you try to tell them everything. Sometimes it's better to step back and let them figure it out, let them learn and let them go through it. Even though they go through it, there is a lot of learning in it and I felt that he's done that, he's done his share of it. Thank you for that insight. Um, how would you say, as a little kid, you saw what Harsh was going to be when he grew up, like when he was four or five? What did you see in him that told you that he would become the man he is today? Harsh has always been a charmer in my eyes. Typically, mom's son is going to be a charmer, but he's always been very talkative and a social kid. And initially, I worried about him because he would get in trouble in school, get in time out. He'll get his phone taken away because he's always on phone. Um, he studied in our living room. He never sat in his room or a library sort of area. He sat in the middle of living room where we would be talking about it. He would be part of that conversation and he would have all the chat lines open and Facebook open and I would get very worried that this kid is not studying, he's not focusing, he's trying to do everything but studying. Once he started getting decent scores, I felt that, okay, I guess he's managing it. And eventually I learned there are a lot of things he did in his life. He learned from his peers. And this talking on chat line was not always a waste of time. He actually learned from these kids. These were the peers he's still friends with. He still catches them for lunch or he meets them when he comes back to Detroit or when he's in California. So his social and interpersonal skills, I felt that it really shone through and I think he also became a better person by meeting with people, talking to them, learning from them. So I felt that his social and interpersonal skills. Okay, thank you for sharing that with us. We just talked with Harsh and now we've seen the inside scoop from his mom. So this video was brought to you by DES. DES tutors every week in STEM and English. And we try to help our society. If you're interested in this, you can visit our website, www.toyeducation.org. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.